Welcome to Seed to Plate, my new show. I am the Stoner Chef Canada, Danny Raposo. Uh, this show is about uh, my amazing chef celebrity friends that have no clue about infusing food with cannabis. Um, so today on the show, I'm very lucky for my first episode to have a great friend of mine. We've known each other quite a long time. Uh, one amazing chef in Toronto from Penthouse Catering, Chef Russell Akbarelli. Akbarelli. Yay. <laughs> you got it, so buddy. today on the show, he's here. We are going to do a quick little interview, talk about um, what he's done, um, where where he's been, what type of food he's, uh, he does, uh, all of his businesses, and then we're going to get into the uh, kitchen and make some infused sushi. Yeah. So, welcome. Yes, sir. Chef Russell. Yes, Chef Dan. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. No way. Any problem. Uh, well, I mean, to be your first guest on the show, I mean, yeah. like, man. Well, like yeah. I said, we've known each other quite we've a while. We've known each other for a long time. And you've been actually. trying, and you've been bugging me for. I remember calling you in LA last year this time saying, you got to teach me this stuff. You've yeah. been talking about it, and I've been seeing everything that you've been doing on uh, social media. And I was just like, I need to tap into this somehow. I need to figure out how I can learn from, from the master himself Thank you. who has this broken down like a science, in my opinion, That's right. uh, just on your knowledge of this. And me, my food knowledge of food, because I'm an instructor myself, I hold my own cooking classes, I get asked tons of questions. And one of them is like, hey, why don't you do a class with infused cannabis in, in, in your cooking class? And I'm like, well, I've been waiting for you for a how long now. Sorry, man. Right? I so a, I'm, I'm a so busy. happy you remembered me. Of course. And to have me come and start this off with you for the first one is is a, is a huge blessing. Thank, Thank you, you so man. much. No, Thank you, man. No, it was a blessing that you said uh, you you would come. I'm pretty I happy. I made time for you. Like made I said, you. you asked me about a year ago, and uh, I know I was a little busy and stuff yeah. like that. But now uh, we're here, yes. and we're going to show everybody. Uh, I'm going to show right. you, explain uh, what the benefits are yeah. uh, uh, with using cannabis. I mean, and Which is really important because for, for someone like me who doesn't smoke, right? Yeah. Um, you're going to show us how we can infuse it in food because I do have a lot of chronic pains. Mm -hmm. and, you know, just uh, the chef industry is a backbreaking. Uh, it is. Industry. You're on your feet 18 hours a day yeah, sometimes, yeah, you know, if not longer. That's right. And, um, and you're uh, bending over, you're cutting. It, it, uh, you know the the it's concrete, yeah, the big concrete floor. It takes yeah. it, it takes a lot on it takes your back. Takes a lot on you. Yeah. Uh, you're standing there a lot. I know yeah. that's why I kind of got out of the uh, the kitchen. So which is why I was so interested to find a way for someone who doesn't smoke and says like, yeah, okay, fine, it's legal in Canada, but it's like if I'm not used to that, is there another way I can do it? Uh, another uh, way of, of, of trying yeah, to have another this path of, of, yeah, of method and, of, and of you're going to show it. You're gonna absolutely, we're going to do that. So basically, uh, for someone who doesn't smoke, like yourself, you said um, there are many benefits to. Um, eating your cannabis, okay. right? So for instance, I could make um, a, a beautiful CBD rice, um, while CBD is the uh, cannabinoid that will not get you high, but it's very healthy, it repairs a lot of damage. So like an anti-inflammatory? Yeah, okay. so if you have anti-inflammatory swelling, it's actually good for stress, anxiety, um, depression. There's so many things that seem... You know what I also had too? Um, and, and it's interesting because you say like, you know, chefs, we, we were up all day, you yeah. know? It's a rock and roll lifestyle at night, mm -hmm. right? But um, insomnia is... is yes. So CBD also helps with insomnia. So okay. I, I, I do a, a beautiful CBD oil. Yeah. It's a vegetable glycerin. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Um, I'm so so excited. you can get that online now okay. uh, on my on one of my, my Put It In Your Mouth productions. Okay. Uh, I believe it's on the YouTube. Yeah. We do an actual full spectrum... CBD oil that right. you can make with using the magical bark. Right? So today, um, when we get into the kitchen, we're gonna do stuff infused with uh, the rice, the water. Yeah. Right? So root water. Right. Um, I use everything. Um, yep. You know me. I don't from waste. From the roots. As a chef, come on. You That's know right. you can't yeah. waste anything. No wastage at all. Which I love because I can't wait to see what you, what this root is. Or yeah. So it's a root right? like the actual cannabis yeah. uh, plant. The roots. Uh, you and know, we're going to use it with the we're water. We're actually going to make stock water. Stock water. So root water with alkaline water. To cook our sushi to rice. To cook our sushi rice. Okay. And then you also told me, you gave me a heads up that we're going to be doing something with the, um, so instead of oil, we're going to be using a type of butter. That's right. And, and it's infused in the infused butter. Infused cannabis ghee. 
Gi. Gi. Wow. wow, you're Indian. You should so, know. So yeah, that'll be that'll yeah. be interesting. So I mean, and, and we're I'm gonna show you how to how to do that. Okay. I'm gonna show you how to decarb some cannabis by okay. decarbing cannabis. Is, I'm interested to find out. Yeah. <laughs> so you can't just put cannabis in the food. Raw. Raw. Okay. So it has to be decarbulate, uh, deboxylated, okay. uh, which will activate all the cannabinoids and terpenes. It's interesting because you said that um, it, you bake it. Yes, you put it in the oven for the oven. for about 40 minutes at 250 degrees, okay. and that will activate the THCA into THC. So we're removing the we're A. We're removing the A, yeah. To have the THC. To have the THC so you can get that benefit from the plant. But it's not just the THC, it's the CBD and, and the CBC, and there's like 200 cannabinoids in right. the plant. So we got all the CBC, the TTC, right. all that stuff. We got all the it's, acronyms inside. Yeah, and, and we're going to take all the benefits of that. And we're just going to activate it, and yeah. then we're going to put it into the magical butter with soy sauce. And so it's going to. Hold on, so hold on. So we're also going to do something. This is new. So yes. you have another one. So <laughs> we're not just doing the, the rice with it. We're not just doing the butter. cooking the, 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 the vegetables butter. with the butter yeah. in it. We we'll also have a third a component. A third infusion, with which sesame is oil. cannabis wow, this with is, this soy is sauce. So this magical butter machine, it's a botanical extractor. Wow. Danny. You can put everything inside. Wow. Okay. I know, I'm blowing your mind. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 um, yeah. There's a lot to learn. Uh, so slowly, we'll, we'll kind of work um, like slow on, on, on infusions. So we're breaking it down in three different ways. Yep. Right? Right. From the root. From the to root to a butter. Right. Into a soy sauce infusion. Right. And this goes into, you're going to show me how it goes into a machine and it right. emulsifies, like how right. you make like a, a salad dressing. Yeah. And then, okay, awesome. I can't. So I'll, that, I'll that will do once, once we get into the kitchen. Okay. So tell me about why you got into food, man. Like what made you oh, wow. choose is, food, bro? So like, you, you want to know, so um, it's very interesting because my first marriage, I didn't know how to cook anything. <laughs> <laughs> and um, when she left, uh, we, li we were living in Paris. We we're living in France, cool, right? Nice. Um, and um, she left in a way that I had nothing in the fridge. Wow. I mean, she even took the ice rack <laughs> the from the freezer, okay? Um, Boy, she left you with that, huh? So when she left, I literally had no food, and I didn't know how to cook. I mean, at all. That's one thing that she took care of. I, t I was like she was in the, you know she took care of the home I was outside the home I, I was the, I was I, I was I was the provider yep. right um, and she knew when she was leaving me that the wor the thing that she could do the most to me is leave me with no food so she did it in a way that I kept saying we have to buy groceries and it came to a point where it's like hey we have nothing left and that's when she left wow so she wanted she to plan it she planned it so that I would starve wow I was I was alone in France because my family was here I mm -hmm. had some relatives but it was like kind of saying like they're in Montreal compared to like me being yeah. in Toronto and Paris right so it's not like I could really reach out to anyone so I survived on water for two weeks wow and um, through that I realized that Sorry, you know what no well, it's okay I that's lost a, a lot of weight that's a shitty way that's a shitty way she, she really yeah she so, 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 so the thing wow. was I put it in my head I will never ever get a woman that will find a weakness that could do this to me again so when I came back I was like I need to learn how to cook um, now, learning how to cook, I learned the basics just from my father who was a cook, mm -hmm. um, but I didn't get to learn too much from him because he, he passed away through cancer, but uh, through friends. Now, back then, there wasn't really that much social media, like, yeah, you there know, was that you could. Social media so it was, stuff. you know, the Food Network, yep. right, Where, which I, I learned a lot of things from there. And then I started practicing and practicing and practicing. Then I met my new wife, mm -hmm. um, and she pushed me further because she was a really... Uh, lack of terms, um, a, uh, not a bad cook, but uh, <laughs> a poor, that's okay. Uh, okay. She, my she, wife, she, her food was my very wife burns water. Bro. Okay, she so doesn't cook at all. <laughs> right, like so, literally. So like, uh, so I realized, okay, I got to step up the game more, mm -hmm. and that's when I told her, like, you know what, I want to go to culinary school because I was getting so many compliments at that point saying you're good. Yeah. And um, yeah, so for two women, yeah. <laughs> is reason why I am where I am today. So yeah. did you go to school for? Yeah, I did. So I did. I did. Are, so so I, 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 I was, I was, I was professionally trained. Um, I was Italian trained. Nice. Okay. So, so, so my background was in Italian. I got started in an Italian restaurant, nice. like from scratch at Mangia Bevi. Um, the, the greatest thing that that restaurant did for me was they were very hands on, but really hands off. They would let you be creative. 
It wasn't yeah. like this is the recipe. Yeah. This is how it is. We were all responsible for each each department was, um, you know, you, you're, you're special for yeah. the next day. Of course. And that pushed me really hard because that's where they critiqued you the most. So you were it basically came down to sales, right? Yeah. How much of your special did you sell today? Yeah. Did it sell out? Did, it, did is the staff eating it? Because usually, um, what happens with uh, a special, it's really made for the staff, yeah, of right? Course. Do you yeah. get me? Yeah, I know. But when you're selling out, so that helped me to move up the cool. ranks and then all the way up to the head chef. Nice. And then I got tired of the restaurant industry and I said, screw this. Uh, I can't do this anymore. The, the 18 hours days, yeah. uh, I was sleeping four hours a night. Um, the, the responsibility of running a kitchen like that and the pressure and I started my own catering company. That's basically the same reason why I got out of the kitchen. Um, you work 18 hours a day, you sleep six or four yeah. and when you're sleeping your mind's still working and again i, I used to dream work. about work man. yeah isn't yeah, that yeah, crazy yeah. Like, well it would be it would be more nightmares than, yeah than, well than, absolutely it was, it was more negative than what it's like do i really want to get up and go yeah. and do this all over again right yeah. um it's a slave ship and and, and depending how you want to take it uh, it's a cutthroat industry there's not a lot of money to be made you have to have the passion behind it to do it that's what keeps you going uh, once i learned as much as i could um i was like you know what let me start my own thing and I've been doing it ever since. Yeah, so that's Penthouse Catering. Yes. That's so you the, started that how long ago? Um, wow, I think eight years ago. Cool. No, 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 no. Yeah, eight, nine years ago. And now. so with Penthouse Catering, you do catering itself. Yes. Yeah, you so also do cooking classes? So what happened through that was um, one of my biggest catering gigs I got well, through a friend was uh, doing for the Canadian Olympics, uh, the Summer nice. Olympic team. Yeah, so nice. when they, I got to go to the Olympic House and I got hired to do the catering for them. Uh, they chose, you know, they, it was a selection of, you know, we had to go and then they chose me. Perfect. And I got to cook for the, the, the top 100 um, Canadian athletes, athletes that were from Toronto. Yeah. Amazing. And um, what happened was a lot of the athletes, you know, it's a big place where they do all their talking, mingling, people are coming there, pop up, like, you know, the, the media. And they would, some of them would sneak up to the kitchen and they would ask me questions. Yeah. And this was very typical doing catering. People like to come to the kitchen, hey, there's a chef there, let's ask let's him. Ask him. So him. through that, people would tell me, that you have an act of teaching, the way that you t that you explain things, like you're, I'm actually you following teach. you and listening. So after winning the Toronto Sushi Festival uh, in Toronto, um, when business is slow in the fall, like around now, uh -huh. um, I was like, well, let me try. Let me just put this up there, see if there's people that'll be interested in learning sushi, using the credibility as winner of top of, right. of, of the Sushi Fest, and as well as you know, just things like with Chop Canada, and, and I did some other competition. So um, I put it up there, and, and I did not think it would blow up. I really did it. And it and really became a full-time job. And it has. It took over the business of the yeah. catering that I'm doing seven classes a week. Amazing. And now we're doing five classes. So we do a knife skills class, which is extremely important to yeah, know how to handle a knife, how to position everything, how to sharpen a knife, mm -hmm. the purpose of using a sharp knife and always using one. Um, so I, I teach you how to sharpen everything, all of that in cool. one class. Then it moves up to the sushi class. Yep. And then it gets a little bit more difficult with it Thai, nice. Indian. Nice. And we do a biryani class. And then hopefully soon we're going to be starting a kids only class. Um, that's cool. That's really important. Well, because you know, like, I, I, like you, I think we mentioned we talked about this before. Growing up, we, I had, I had, you know, cooking classes in school. Yeah, right? yeah, home ec, home ec, yeah, yeah. You know, you learn how to sew. You learn how to sew. Yeah, yeah. And make muffins yeah. or whatever. Yeah, but it was. And it, now they don't. But the point was, the, the great thing of that for us, for our generation, is that we weren't afraid to use a stove. That's right. You got me. You weren't afraid to be like, okay, I'm home. My parents are still at work. Yeah. Throw some frozen fries in the, in the oven. Throw yeah. it in. Just eat some fries. Maybe, but, but to get you, you know going, what I mean. Get yeah, you know what I mean. Or just even like to make your own sandwiches, right? So it, it's unfortunate how it's become because parents, I've had parents cry and say, thank you so yeah. much. This basic, basic, what you, we did here today in your class is who knows it's going to open up. Absolutely. You got me? Because in our class too, just like in the kitchens, Danny, um, cleanliness, you got to well, clean yeah. up. Yeah. Clean, yeah. And I, I would have parents tell me, I've never had my son broom before. Thank you for asking him. Well, the that's, that's the you whole know, these, thing. These, these, these if you have things. time to lean, you have a lot of time to clean. That's, time that's, to clean. That's, yeah. that's, that's, that's the, the same in the kitchen, that's right? That's so if you're not doing anything, yeah. you pick up a rag and you start cleaning, that's right? That's, that's the that's way it, it is. Yeah. Um, kitchen, it has to be always clean. Mm -hmm. um, I can't stand it dirty. But cook. I do have to mention, if you want to take out our cooking classes in Toronto, it's not on our website. We're exclusive to Groupon. Okay. Works because we get a tons of Americans from Michigan to South Carolina that drive up because they're like, we don't, I've never seen a sushi class in their areas. So Groupon noticed that and they, they pump it a lot to the States. So, so it's only on Groupon, not on our website. Groupon. Okay. Groupon. So I'm gonna, we're going to get that link. Yeah. So um, at the bottom here, you guys can be able to hit the 
that link yeah. to get to Chef Russell. Yeah, uh, under you can put Chef Russell or Pentel's Catering. Pentel's Catering and in then, the search, and they'll come up. Perfect. Yeah. So uh, yeah. I'm getting hungry, man. You yeah, wanna, you ready to do this? You ready to rock? I, I want I want no more pain in my back. So. Yeah. So like that that's that's what we're here for. I can right. show you. I can right. show you slowly. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's all right. get let's get this let's on. Do it. Let's do it. All right. Let's all right, get brother. in that kitchen and go.